Potable water tanks and towers are an important part of our infrastructure. However, many of us don't realize they're the last stop before that water makes its way to your faucet. Welcome to Tap Talk, where we discuss what's really going on in your water system. We safely put a diver into a water storage tank. We suck all the sediment out of the bottom of it. We get them nice and clean and we pull the diver out. That way the tank gets cleaned, but they never had to take it out of service. Hi, I'm Ron Perrin. My company, Ron Perrin Water Technologies Incorporated, has been inspecting and cleaning water storage tanks and towers since 1997. We use underwater cameras to perform inspections for water utilities so they don't have to drain the water out of these tanks and towers, saving millions of gallons of water, sometimes on a weekly basis. Our dive crew can go inside the water system we dress in a dry suit so there's nothing touching the water. There's no human contact between us and the treated water. They use a helmet like this one. This is a Gorski. We have, we have multiple different diving helmets. This allows them to get in the system and they can make inspections, repairs, and our most common thing is removing sediment. Tank sediment is important to remove. Here's a little sample of one. Even when it's a small layer like this, you can have countless billions of bacteria, protozoa, or even viruses in it. And it's never, two of them never look exactly the same. It's whatever is around that tank in between the tank and the water storage treatment plant. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Since I was a kid, I've loved scuba diving. My dad, claims to have bought the first aqua lung in Fort Worth, Texas. That would be back in the 50s, and he had to order it through a welding supply company. I even have one of his original harnesses still. Actually, I have all of his dive gear. This one was just in my office and easy to, to grab. This looks like a torture device more than something to hold a aqua lung on your back. On top of seeing my dad dive, my favorite TV show was Sea Hunt with Lloyd Bridges. I love that. I didn't think there was really much chance of me making that into a profession. But after I was a police officer for a while, I heard about a company that came in to Keller, Texas from out of state and they inspected the water storage tank. That fascinated me. They used scuba diver to do it. So that was in the early nineties. I went out, looked at the report, said I can do this. And we started doing it. By 1997, I had started my own company and we've been doing it for 23 years now. We use dry suits to protect the water from us. Then we're washed down with a chlorine solution and it lets you enter the water system and remove the sediment that can contain bacteria, protozoa, and viruses. This is very important that this stuff can live in the bottom of a tank undetected and unknown because when they do a water test, they're testing the water. They're testing the water in the system. They're testing the water three foot off the tank floor. So when we take a sample of sediment, then they can really see what's going on. And some of our customers have found soup to nuts, everything you can imagine they've, they've found in the tank sediment. The EPA has written papers about it. So there's always this war going on, the treatment chemicals versus whatever's growing in the tank sediment, but that doesn't have to be because a little housekeeping goes a long way. We get in there, we're underwater janitors. We clean the floor of the water storage tank or the water storage tower. This series is gonna show you divers climbing, entering, and cleaning water storage tanks. So I hope you hang around and watch a few more of our episodes. Thanks a lot. And you can also check out our blog at tankdiver.us. My website is ronperrin.com. Thanks a lot.